Hey guys, you're watching Fitness Regiment, and today I'll be doing a little bit of a leveling guide for AOL. I'll be starting with the first map, Arena, and as you spawn, you spawn around Baika as a human. I'm going to be focusing on humans, but obviously it works with elves as well. So you're going to be uh, spawning over here, and you can just start killing foxes and monkeys pretty much until, let's say, level 5. So once you're level 5, here you've got a little bit of a guide. I would not kill anything... At, at the first few levels, it's fine killing blues. Definitely don't kill any uh, light blues and don't kill any whites. Obviously, whites don't give any XP. Uh, focus on killing greens. If you're alone, greens are usually the easiest XP. Yellow is quite good and orange, etc. is just too slow or even impossible and you'll die. If you have a priest, you can start with oranges. Uh, reds and purples, that's just for power leveling. It's pretty much impossible on your own. So anyway, now that you're level 5, you can go on and start attacking the wolves and boars and foxes around here. It's a little bit lower, so it's quite natural motion. And you should stay there. I, I honestly would stay there until maybe level 8, at which point they would turn blue. And then you can start attacking the, ba uh, the, the dwarves, which you can see in the video. So... I generally stay away from over here. This is like where the goblins are. I don't bother with that. I like to go straight to the dwarves and then as soon as I can start attacking the bears. You can attack them while they're yellow and they stay yellow and green so you can keep leveling till about, I would say level 12. And at level 12, you can start attacking coelacals. And those give a lot of XP because you can pull a lot of them. So you can just straight up just attack them. They, they turn blue i think yeah at around level 16 or 17 so you can straight up go to level 17 at which point you can go to cornwall's ruins so if we go cornwall's ruins and uh let's see let's say we're what level were we 17 yeah so see when you when you go in at level 17 uh they will be green and that's perfect for your xp because then you can just move deeper where they're yellow uh, I think most of them are just yellow. Yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't bother with level two. I would just stay around all these rooms, uh, rooms, and that should get you all the way to I'd say level twenty two, maybe even level twenty three. And once you're level twenty three, then you can just go to map two, which is over here, and we're gonna go grinding map for this. And so, what level were we? Twenty three. Okay, so at level twenty three. You're supposed to start over here, but most people take the portal, so they start over here, and you might have a little bit of trouble. The orcs will be yellow and orange. I would just focus on trying to kill the orcs, because once you get to the lake over here, that is going to be a good time, and that should be yellow. So you can stay at the lake until level 28. So at level 28, you should just be around this lake. Even level 29, maybe. Just grinding this lake. And uh, let's let's say, worst case scenario, level 27, you leave the lake, you go to the coelacals. You can stay at the coelacals until level 30. Or even 31, if you really are pushing it. And after that, you just start working down the map. Uh, I would ignore these. I don't like them. I would go straight for the pirates. The pirates are great XP. Because you can, you can stay around the pirates until around level 30... 5 or 36 you can just stay around the pirates and then start working your way up the map um i would actually at level 34 if you go in front of matron there's a lot of uh, what are they called matron god servant matron priest and royal guards they give a lot of xp and at level 34 they'll be yellow so if you just start attacking them you can grind them until level 37 or 38 at which point you can probably go inside matron so if we go inside matron at, what were we, level 38? Yeah, so these are going to be, or level 37, these are going to be yellow. Uh, these are really tough to kill. They have some strong poison, and you won't be able to kill them on your own. So have a priest. And, like, get out of there as soon as you can. So, like, stay until level 42, or 41, or just 40. Once you're 40, once you turn 41, they're going to turn blue. Just go Clorin's Lair. Clorin's Lair is so much better. Once you enter Clorin's Lair at, let's say, 41, everything's going to be green. You can just start straight up just grinding. And you can do that until, uh, I would say, at level 44. Yeah, level 43 starts. Stay until level 44, because then you can go floor 2. And at level 44, everything's going to be yellow and green, and you can stay there until level 46 or 47. And at that point, you can go floor 3 
which is going to be green and yellow, and you can stay there until level 50 or 51 even. But at level 50, it's going to start slowing down. You can realistically stay until level 50, uh, 51, but it really starts to slow down, and you're going to have a much better time in Skullrun. Uh, where at level 51 you're going to see that everything turns green. So Skolaron is often called Pando because that's what the main city over here is, the elf city. Um, so if you go there at level 51, you'll see that everything's green, but do not underestimate it. These are the strong, these are some of the strongest mobs in the game. Uh, nothing to do with bleeds, just straight up huge health and huge hits. These will hit you for like a thousand. So go there with a priest or go to the party. Uh, you're going to take about five times as long to kill a mob, and it's only going to give you as, about three times as much XP. But sadly, there's no good uh, grinding spots at level 51 plus. So if you're extremely lucky, over here in Verides, or whatever you call it, there's uh, very high level mobs uh, that some people grind or some people P level. So always when you go to this map, ask on trade chat or area chat if there's any current parties that you can just leech xp off otherwise start with uh, i would not start with the wolves i'll start with the non-aggro mobs the larvas because that way you can uh calmly control how many you want kill them one at a time two at a time or three at a time and stay on, uh, stay on those until you get to level 52 or 53 at which point you can move on to the wolves and bears until level 55 or maybe level 54 is more realistic. At level 54, you can move on to the leopards and tigers over here, which are really easy to pull, but obviously it's hard to pull a large amount unless you have a tank or a good healer. Even a good healer will struggle. The golems, uh, I'm not a huge fan of personally, but as you can see, these mobs have huge health, eight and a half thousand, etc. Um, I personally hate the harpies. Uh, you can start, I don't like the basilisks either. Here, the bears are okay. Um, so anyway, you can work your way down here with the golems if you want. Uh, and then at level 55, I believe, okay, no, uh, you can go over here to the vipers, and at level 56 you can finally do uh, these. But to be honest, after level 52, 53, you might even be better off um, just uh, in deep desert too. So let's see, let's say we're level 52 three were we or 54 yeah okay so deep desert 2 becomes viable at around level 56 to be honest so you might want to stay in pando until level 55 56 uh, and at level 56 you can get started over here they don't have much more health than pando and they actually have drops so they're actually going to have people uh grinding them and usually there's a lot of parties leveling here and you you can stay here until level 60 like there, there's nowhere else to go uh, so these mobs will uh, still be blue and green um, as you level up. So that's basically your end game is DD2, uh, uh, Deep Desert 2. Um, Deep Desert 1, on the other hand, at level uh, 57 or 58, it starts turning blue. So feel free to stay here. It's really good for grinding. And usually there's a lot of parties as well he uh, here as well because it drops duels. But of course, uh, you're going to be inside of a PvP map, so be careful because you might get slaughtered. Uh, I generally do not like the dinosaur map myself, so it does have some good grinding spots, but I don't know why, I'm just not a fan of the mobs, and there's usually more uh, PvP, and it's harder to hide, because it's really like a pathed map. Like, it's not really a huge open map where anyone can be anywhere, there's like clear pods and grinding areas. So it's much easier to get picked off, plus it, level f it caps at level 57, 58, uh, the mobs have the same health or more than DD1 and DD2, so I really don't see the point of going there. I would stick to DD1 and then maybe go DD2. Uh, so that should get you to level 60, so that's pretty much it. And I'm going to have some leveling compilations and some more in-depth guides rather than me just talking. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.